Fly High for Fun production. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Alright guys, let me just jump right in and get straight to the point. So what you see here is the hall wires have shorted out on the negative terminal. Um, the energy from that then fried out the main controller and the power fed back through the BMS and there was some damage there. Uh, which in this video I'll go over and give you guys the insight on exactly what happened. The scooter will shut completely down. The display is going to flash. And then the scooter is going to turn off, completely losing power. And then when I try to power up the scooter, I get no power. So right now, I'm in gear one. There's 83.1 volts showing on the battery. Um, so let's go ahead and start. And like what I saw yesterday was that within 10 seconds into the ride, I started to notice that the scooter was flashing. So here we go. Let's give it a try. cut off from the scooter it's flashing I have no power it looks like the voltage I don't know if that's the voltage or what is down to 9.4 uh, I'm actually a whole block away from half the house and now I have to push it back and now the scooter cut off so today I will be doing a video on the Cabo Wolf Warrior battery pack. This battery pack is built with LG MJ1 cells. I will be going into this battery to determine the fault, attempt to fix, make a repair to the battery if it's possible. And if not, we'll scrap it. Um, but just to give you guys a little background, I got screwed, Cabo fucked me. The controller shorted out. Uh, they denied my claim for the controller as well as for the battery actually it's dropping voltage so that was the problem and this is what we're going to do to fix it all right first things first we're going to go ahead and connect the leads to the positive as well as the negative side of the battery just to kind of get a gauge of where the voltage is on the battery these alligator clips here are going around and then they're connected to the end of the probes here and we're reading 34.9 volts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bypass the BMS. Uh, I took a voltage reading from the BMS and it's only showing 34 volts. It tells me there's something going on with that BMS. So we're going to bypass that here. And we're going to test directly from here, which is the negative. And we're going to test here, which is a positive, to see how much voltage we have. And we're showing 81.4 volts. We got 81.4 volts here, but we only got 34 volts. If I were to check from the, from the plug here. With both leads inside the battery, positive and negatives. We're only showing 35.7 volts. That tells me there's something wrong with this BMS. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to test each cell. This is just kind of verify that uh, each one of these cell blocks are good. So in order to do that, you're going to start with putting your negative probe on a negative, on a negative wire. And then you're going to check the one next to it. So once you touch that and you touch the next one, should see that you have 4.1 volts and then if you just move your probe to the next line up careful not to touch but one one wire and you move the next one up that's 4.1 volts on the second pair you move a one up check the, the, the third pair 4.1 moving on up check the fourth pair 4.1 moving up 
Check the fifth pair. 4.1. So that would be the first little little batch of wires there. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five pair in that. And then there should be 15 in the other. So in order to check the next one, you're gonna put one wire on this one and then one on the last one on this one. That's 4.1 wire volts. Same thing, you're just gonna keep on moving on up. So we're gonna check this one. That's 4.1, move to the next 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 one. So as you see, every time you move, let me check this one, this, this didn't look too good. That one says 1.7. There may be something wrong with that pair. Let me check it one more time. That's 4.1. Move to the next one. That's 4.1. Move to the next one. 1.7. So that's a bad, let's check the rest. That's 4.1, that's 4.1, that's 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1. This is the last one, 4.1. So there is a bad bank of sales in here um, that was showing 1.7 volts. I'm gonna have to figure out exactly which one that is, which is this one, but I'm gonna have to figure out. Five on this, and then you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's actually group 11 that um, is showing 1.64 volts. Uh, so we're going to use group 11 negative and group 12 positive and we're going to hook this up to my charger. So I have this charger here uh, we're going to set this to uh, NICAT and then we're going to try to see if we can get this one group up. Alright so make sure I taped up these connections here. We got the negative and the positive connected on the balance on the charging port here. And then we have 1.645 volts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, change this to NICAT. I'm going to charge at a slow rate, a half an amp. Let's see if it'll charge it. Okay, so it's starting to take a small charge here. Let's see if I can get this up to about three volts. Actually, I need to get it up to 4.1 volts where the other battery is, where the other cells are, so. We'll see if this is going to work out. I'm going to slowly watch it and we're going to see if I can get that group of cells back up to 4.1 volts. So yeah, I think this might be a, probably the easiest alternative right now to charge it through the balancing port. So fingers are crossed.